Application of Compound Angle Formula. Here we will try to prove the co-function identity. That is the co-function identity. Sine pi by 2 plus theta equals to minus cos theta. Remember, sine theta and cos theta are co-function identities. And whenever you do pi by 2 plus minus theta or 3 pi by 2 plus minus theta, sine changes to cos and cos changes to sine. So that's why they are called co-function identities, right? So basically what we have is, let's say these are our quadrants. So, so depending on in which quadrant you are, here if you are pi by 2 plus theta, that means you are actually in this quadrant, pi by 2 plus theta, right? Now in this quadrant, sine is positive. Since sine is positive, it changes to cos and cos is positive here, it should actually be plus of this, it is a wrong question. So pi by sine pi by 2 plus theta should be actually equal to plus cos theta. Since pi by 2 plus theta, you are in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 2, sine is positive, right? Cast rule, right? You remember the cast rule, right? C A S D. Since sine is positive, this should be positive. Now let's look into this. This is cos 3 pi by 2 plus theta. That means cos is in this quadrant. Cos is also positive. Therefore, sine will be positive, right? So, so these are the right identities, correct? Now, let us prove this. Now, since this I wrote wrong, let me just prove this one for you, right? We remember sine A plus B formula. Sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So, let's write down that and expand this. So, we get sine a is pi by 2 sine a cos b plus cos a cos is pi by 2 for you a sine b which is sine theta right now what is sine pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is 1 and so we are left with cos theta is 1 time cos theta plus cos pi by 2 is 0 right 0 times sine theta right so we are left with cos theta. You see it is plus, plus cos theta, right? Now, so that is how the identities can be related, right? Compound angle to this. This one, you can do yourself and figure it out, right? Now, let me add more questions here so that you can try some more. So I would like you to try this. Sine of 3 pi by 2 minus theta, right? So in that case, 3 pi by 2 is this side, right? Minus theta, you'll be here. That should be equal to minus of cos theta, right? So you can prove this yourself and then figure out if it really works. So basic thing is just expand it using compound angle formula and get your result. That's so easy, okay? Thank you.